Hey, welcome to Wednesday Night Recap. We just concluded our series, Don't Give the Enemy a Seat at Your Table. That's right. Tonight was session six, and tonight was the focus on why God chooses to put the table in the midst of our enemies. And Louie had some thoughts on that. Um, we had our own thoughts on that. Uh, I know Pastor's got a thought on that. Yep. Um, so let me just tell you what Louis were until, and we'll go and from there. And then we'll go on the unleash, tangent. Unleash the beast. <laughs> go on my tangent. So one was that we know that God is more than enough. That's, we, we're, if we'll focus on him, we can realize that he's enough, that we don't have to focus on the enemies. And I know a lot of times it's easier said than done, um, but we could be assured that he's with us. The second was that our enemies recognize that God is enough through, I believe, our radiant, you know, if we reflect his, his glory, that they see that. And the third one, I don't know if I remember what the third one was. Oh, it, so our cup overflows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and so... <clears throat> he didn't spend a lot of time in it last No, time, he so did. I almost yeah. forgot it. Yeah. yeah. And, and mm -hmm. some people, you know, we kind of opened it up beforehand just to see what... I asked my wife today, you know, I, I set, it, set her up and she thought she had to give me some philosophy this huge answer. I was like, I'm just asking you because I'm going to ask everybody else. Why? Why do you think hmm. he gave us that in the presence of our enemies? I will say this. I'm watching the video, <laughs> the video message. Yes. I'm just, I wished we'd had a veggie tray tonight. <laughs> he took he a bite all... out of that carrot. I saw peppers oh, on that tray. Yeah. And, and it, it just sits there. Yeah, if you haven't been out Wednesday night to yeah. see this Louis Giglio video series. <laughs> He's got a big charcuterie board <clears throat> Oh, there. my gosh. He had more than just that. He had yeah. like three or four trays on this table. <laughs> and tonight I really wanted Make some fresh veggies <laughs> of all things. It's true. So that was the first thing that came to mind. The second thing was, and I asked you because I missed the last two weeks. Mm -hmm. One week we were at National Camp Rama. The other week I was diagnosed or what do you call I don't know, is that what you call it? Diagnosed, you, you positive, positive, COVID, COVID positive, whatever, uh, with very little symptoms. So I wasn't worried about it, but I couldn't be here. But Louis never really addressed the enemies. And I'll tell you, I really feel like that's an important part. Because mm -hmm. um, in the beginning, he said the beauty, why would he put a table in the center, in the middle, in the midst of our enemies? Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm like, why? You know, that makes no sense. Well, it's so that our focus would be on him and not on them, mm -hmm. okay? And also, you know, if, if your enemy is Satan or his emissaries, his demons, they're watching this. Can you imagine the jealousy and the hatred they must, they must feel? Mm -hmm. Because here, we're enjoying the presence of the Lord. They were created for that, mm -hmm. fell away, they rebelled, and now they can't have that fellowship that we have. Mm -hmm. And that was really more what Louis carried through for yeah. six weeks. Mm -hmm. But, you know, getting back <clears throat> to the fact that we have enemies, you may not have an earthly enemy or someone maybe at work that's got it out for you. Or, and that does happen. I've seen that happen. Yeah. Or maybe a family member that you're at odds with. You know, that comes and goes. But we have an eternal foe. We well, do. almost eternal. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. He, his days are numbered. <laughs> mm -hmm. But he's constantly. And Scripture tells us in Ephesians 6. That, you know, we're to be, be aware of the mm -hmm. strategies of the enemy. Yeah. And we don't fight against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities mm -hmm. and authorities and evil in high places. So, you know, but, but we, don't ever, we don't ever talk about our enemy. And I don't want to give him undue focus, mm -hmm. but we don't ever talk about our enemy. And that's why that passage is there. Now, I want to read, if you'll allow Ooh, me, from Luke 22. Because I thought this very interesting in light of Psalm 23, mm -hmm. but Luke chapter 22, uh, Jesus says to his disciples, you are those who have stood by me in my trials, and I confer in you a kingdom just as my father conferred one on me so that you may eat and drink at my table mm -hmm. in my kingdom. It's like, wow, I, I never saw that before. It was so neat to be led by that. Mm -hmm. And that's not what I was looking for. What I was looking for were the following verses where it talks about the enemy. And Jesus says to Peter, Simon, Simon, Satan has asked to sift all of you as wheat. But I have prayed for you, Simon, that your faith may not fail. And when you turn back, you will strengthen your brothers. It's like, wow. So there's this, there's this concept of the table again, which, I mean, think about it. In, in the, there's a wedding banquet that's awaiting for us yet, it's like, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, God's abundance, his provision, his presence, there's so much right. that that table represents. Mm -hmm. 
And, and Louis brought that out. But again, he, he, I wish he talked a little bit about enemies. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there's a lot that Jesus did at a table. I mean, just even taking that a little further. I mean, all kinds of things that he taught, the Last Supper. I mean, all, just all the things that he did around time at a table. And so, you know, it really is um, uh, pretty powerful. There's a, one of the scriptures, Psalm 34, 1 and 2, says, I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. I will glory in the Lord and let the let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Mm. And one of the things he mentioned about <clears throat> when you're at that table, maybe your enemies are there and they're, you know, they've been giving you a hard time or Satan's been giving you a hard time. And you think, how can, how can I recover from this? How can I move forward from this? And he says here, let the, uh, let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Mm. And uh, even in the middle of affliction and hardship and difficulty, um, you know, when we're, when we're extolling the Lord, when we're praying, when our, his praise is on our lips, supernaturally, we're able to, to, you know, do things that we couldn't do on our own. And what you talked about Paul and Silas, you know, they're, they're locked in prison, they're mm -hmm. shackled, they've been beaten, yet the, the prisoners, the prison guards, everybody heard them praising God. Yeah. And that meant that in the good times and the bad times, they're going to worship God mm -hmm. and, uh, just, you know. If we can ever find that place in our lives, mm -hmm. that's that's what it's about, and it comes through the relationship. Uh, uh, something that I really took away from that is, is that 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 time that we have, it, as great as it is and as beneficial it is for us, it's to be outpoured from us. I think that that's a, you know mm -hmm. our cup overflowing, to now love our enemies as God loves our enemies, and that's not an easy task. Um, but you talked about lingering. In, in that, you know, in, in God's presence there at that table and, and focusing on him. And that's how we can shut out the enemy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And again, the emphasis being on the table. Yes. You know, again, I emphasized enemies tonight just for a little bit. Yeah. But really, ultimately, it comes to focusing on his presence at, at the table. Right. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So anyways, next week, you guys are on vacation. We are. And I'm going to be alone Wednesday alone. night. Sad Wednesday alone. night. <laughs> August 3rd, I need you there. Yeah. <laughs> We're beginning a brand new series, uh, and it's called Judgment Call by Andy Stanley. I think you'll absolutely love it. Uh, we all do judging. We judge others. We judge situations. We judge circumstances. Uh, and we're going to learn how to judge right. properly. Be so, judgy. Going to yeah, be judgy. I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you'll be there next Wednesday, August 3rd. Um, wow, August already. Yeah. But anyways, you guys have a good time away. We will. And we'll have a good time here. So look forward to seeing you this Sunday. Yeah, your new series, right? Yep. Yeah. We'll be dealing with Ephesians on Sunday, chapter 1. And we'll go through it book by book, chapter, uh, book, book chapter by chapter, verse by verse. One book, Ephesians. <laughs> and then again, Judgment Call on Wednesday. So God bless and have a great rest of the week.